It's Dr. Lori. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky at the Peddler's Mall. Let's see what treasures we find. Well, let's look at some jewelry, right? There's got to be a lot of jewelry around. Now, I like these trays. So that's an old clip. Old clip. Tell from the back. So old meaning World War II era, right? 40s, 40s or so. That's nice. So they want eight for that, and that's worth 12, 15 even. This has to be Trafari because of the enamel and the gold swooshes, and where's the label, and there's the mark, right? Tiny as it is, it's Trafari. I don't know if you can see it right there at the bottom. And it's got the copyright and the crown. It's a nice piece. They want four. They want four. <laughs> that surprises me. Uh, ten, I'd say. Four? Come on. So, 45 for four. <laughs> That's Trafari. Let's hold on to this. Oh, gold. How about just gold, right? <laughs> That's nice. What do they want? Oh, they want $20 for gold. Okay. Um, okay, one of the, the elks, the lions, those organizations. So that's what this is, the nice bow. It's, you know, it's thin, but it's still gold. And uh, that's nice. What do, they, what do they want? They want 20. Yeah, they want 19.99. Okay, but, you know, it's worth 70. So that's a nice piece, too. What's this? Coldwater Creek. Okay, so that's, you know, that's okay. I'd probably keep that there. But remember, I leave everything. I leave everything here for you. I don't want to compete with you. I want you to find it and succeed. So I found it, but there it is. I showed you what it's worth. Let's keep looking for jewelry. Some beads. Beads are good, but you want to look for glass beads, right? If you're looking for beads, you want to look for glass. These are seeds. Hear them? Those are seeds, and they dye them all different colors. They sell them in the islands a lot, OK? Let's see what we got over here. Some more brooches. I like that. So it's all composite, and these are, these are just little pieces of, of glass. But that's a nice little pretty brooch, right? It's pretty. And then the texture on the back. Here's the, the texture of the 1960s. And this, this arched pin. I don't know if you see the pin back here, but it's kind of an arch. It's kind of an arch at the back of the pin. And that's the 1960s, 1970s as well. How much for this? Seven? Seven dollars? Seven dollars. 420. So I think that's a nice pin. That's a good deal. And I'll leave that one there for you. Come and find it. Looks like a chunk, a nice nugget of gold, but it's too th it's too lightweight. So it, it looks like a nice chunky piece. It's it's attractive, but it's copper. So I would say that's probably only worth 10. What do they have it for? They have it for five. Is that what that says? That says five. So you yeah, get it at half price. Half price is good. Here's some more very nicely painted enamel. So here's a pin painted with enamel. You can see the nice details of the black and the white and of the, of the green leaves on the painted enamel of this pin. Now this pin is the 1970s. $7 is this person's number. So there's $7 too. And then it's unmarked on this side. But this is from the 1970s. Let's see if I can get this pin to... You should check the pins and make sure that the pins work. You know, make sure it's tight when it's closed. But that's a nice little piece. So i definitely go 25 on that. Uh, the little dog's a charm. He's a little charm, but he's just a base metal. He's probably worth a couple bucks. How much do they want for him? Yeah, a couple bucks, $2.99. $3 is a little too high for him, actually. I, I'd give $2 maybe, but not two, not three. And then here is a, here is a classical revival cameo piece set in rose gold. That's a nice pin, $7. Wow, that's great. That's a good piece, too. And that one for the back, you can see how it's marked. You can see that it's marked here. And that's a good piece. I like it. It's just a maker's mark. So def definitely you're looking at 75 here. OK. And we've got this brooch. And that one's nice, probably 10 bucks. Yeah, 5 bucks. So they're really low on these. This one, I'm saving here for you. So there you go. Come and get it. OK. This is pieces. These are little pieces of paper that are rolled. So I would leave that there. Um, I like this. Do you like this? I like that. 
I like the colors, I like the sparkle, plastic, but I like this. Let's see if we've got a maker. Where's the loop? Did you bring your loop? I hope you remember the loop. <laughs> Did you need the loop? This is J. Crew. This is J. Crew. So that's nice. And then this can be, you know, longer or shorter as you want it. Like I'd wear it there. You know, that's nice. How much do they want for that? Well, they want 12 for that. So 12 for that would be about 25. Really good looking. It's going to go with everything, right? So it's short, but I think it would look good. So that one's a keeper. But I'm not keeping it, so I'm just leaving it for you. This one is nice. I like the separator beads. I like the color. Um, I like the length. Um, so, you know, if you have to measure, about here is usually 24 inches. If you don't have a measuring tape with you, of course, you want to measure from end to end. But if you don't measure from end to end, from the top to the bottom would be 12. And then you double it, okay? Okay, who made this? This seems like a maker. You know, well-known Monet. There you go. There's the Monet mark on a logo tag, which puts it to the 1980s or so. But uh, the beads are nice. They're plastic. It's Monet, and I would say five, and I would say definitely 35. So there you go. So here's two that I would hold on to. I'd hold on to J. Crew and Monet, name brands. And this I would buy at any price. At any price I would buy this. You know why? These are African trade beads. African trade beads, this person wants $32 for them, so they probably know that they're African trade beads. But these beads are made in West Africa, and people sell individual beads. The blue ones, for example, can go for $25 for one bead. These are $15 beads. These are $15 beads. The larger blue beads can be as much as $15 to $20 each for $32. These are African trade beads, and they're a steal. There's a real bargain right there. And they were hiding up here. <laughs> they were just sitting up here next to these other beads that are also African trade beads. These have been woven, though. Somebody wove these onto an existing piece. So this is what you have to look for. So they wove these onto an existing piece with a logo tag. So they probably had this part and decided to weave these and use these and get them from being in a bag or something. So what do they want for these? They want 18 for these. So these are worth less, of course, than, let me put these down. I'll leave these here for you, the Monet and the J. Crew. Right. The African trade beads, you're going to really sell them individually, the beads individually. $32 is a steal. Leave those here for you. And then these for 18 for the size of them, they're like 30 inches. I'd say these are probably worth 100 for the necklace as it sits, as it stands. So that's pretty, that's amazing. But these are great. These are great. Ah, finding the bargains. Here they are. Well, the toll wear is nice because of the hand painted work. And, and it's a nice cutout shape of the metal tray. Not too big, you don't want them too big with the toll wear. So I like the coloration, I like the hand painting, I like the serpentine, and I like the size. So what is this? And that's too high, $33 is way too high for that. Um, I would say it's probably worth 50, so I'm not paying 33. So um, those, these people are a little too high, that's too high. I like the toy top, does it move? Kinda doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. It's in good condition uh, with the little flowers. In good condition, $26. Yeah, too high. It's gotta work for $26. In working condition, it would be $26. Hey, here's the flower sifter from the Hoosier cabinet. <laughs> so you know the big Hoosier cabinets and you've got the flower sifter, so there's that. So pieces, we're doing parts now. Let's see. And those are very desirable. The lithograph tin pails for the, for the beach, the sand pails, but they're in terrible shape. I mean, the one with the, with the fish here is not really in bad shape. So what do they want? They want 19 for that? Okay, well, that's not happening. 39 for, yeah, the condition is just too poor. Uh, the pigs are in the best condition. Uh, the, but once they start to rust and you can't really see the image, no. But people do sell them in good shape for a lot for into the hundreds easily. These are cute, you know, little toys. Well, there you go. 
$85 for the OG style Victorian mirror. That's nice. What is OG? It's this, it's this curve. So you've got one element, you've got the solid hardwood, you've got the interior runner and the mirror. 85 bucks, okay, well, they're way, way high on certain things and too low on other things. That's a $400 mirror. So that's the piece that you want to be looking for in an environment like this, because they're charging you too much for other pieces and they're not charging you enough for this. That's beautiful, that's a beautiful piece. Uh, late Victorian, 1900, 1901, that time period. Uh, it's not an 1875 mirror, but that's really nicely, that's really uh, nicely preserved. It's in very good shape. And for 85 bucks, oh, I take that off the wall, definitely. Stay tuned, more from Peddler's Mall in Louisville, Kentucky.